Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on this channel, Adults ESL Online Learning. I'm Dr. Hernandez Smith. In this video, we are going to be reading about work. This is Lesson D from Unit 8 of the Online Ventures Student Workbook. A. A. Complete the words to match the definitions. Number one. Critical. Very important. C-R-I-T-I-C-A-L. Number two. Get to know other people. N. E T U O R K Network, get to know other people. Number two, number three, a, a gathering or conference. A fair. A F A I R affair number four calm or uncomplaining Patient, P A T I E N T Patient. Patient, P-A-T-I-E-N-T, -E calm or uncomplaining. Number five, very strong. Term, F-I-R-M, firm. F 
five firm, F I R M, very strong. Number six, a belief in yourself. Confidence, C O N F I D E N C E. Let's see. Confidence, a belief in yourself. B, read the blog, complete the text, use the words from exercise A. Anna's blog, Sunday, tomorrow I start my new job. I'm going to keep a blog because I want to remember how I felt when I began working. The first days in a new job are usually critical, and I want to be successful. I hope it goes well. Monday. Today was very exciting. The manager greeted me with a handshake and gave me a tour of the office. Firm. The manager greeted me with a firm handshake and gave me a tour of the office. I had lunch with my new co-workers. I felt shy and didn't say much. I know it's important to with everyone at work, so I've been trying to show Network. Confidence. I know it's important. I know it's important to network with everyone at work. So I've been trying to show confidence. Tuesday. Today was my second day. Everything was confusing. My job seems very different from what they had, from what they told me at the job. Fair. My job seems very different from what they told me at the job. Fair. I have been asking a lot of questions. I'm not sure if this is the right job for me, but I know I need to be patient. I'm not sure if this is the right job for me, but I know I need to be patient. Let's read it again. Anna's blog. Sunday. Tomorrow I start my new job. I'm going to keep a blog because I want to remember how I felt when I began working. The first days in a new job are usually critical 
and I want to be successful. I hope it goes well. Monday. Today was very exciting. The manager greeted me with a firm handshake and gave me a tour of the office. I had lunch with my co-workers. I had lunch with my new co-workers. I felt shy and I didn't say much. I know it's important to network with everyone at work, so I've been trying to show confidence. Tuesday. Today was my second day. Everything was confusing. My job seems very different from what they told me at the job fair. I have been asking a lot of questions. I'm not sure if this is the right job for me, but I know I need to be patient. C. Circle the correct answers. Number one, Anna has been keeping a blog because A. She wants to remember this time. Number two, Anna tried to show confidence because A. She was confused about her job. B. She was with her co-workers. C. She went to a new re- she went to a restaurant. D. She likes her new job. B. She was with her co-workers. Anna tried to show confidence because she was with her co-workers. Number three, Anna was confused because A, she didn't know anyone there. B, her job wasn't what they told her. C, she went to the wrong company. D. Her manager shook her hand. Anna was confused because B. Her job wasn't what they told her. Four. Anna has been asking questions because A. She wants to network. B. She doesn't have any friends. C. She's not sure about the job. D. She is very patient. C. Anna has been asking questions because she's not sure about the job. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video gave you some practice in listening, reading, and writing about work. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.